today we're going to get Retro Night Disco. It's an application called Sunbox. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the application Funkbox. Now, Funkbox is a cool application that lets you lay down beats uh, using a groovy retro interface, and I'll show you what I mean in a moment. And um, so today we'll go through that interface. I'll show you some cool tricks that are under the hood, like virtual ports that allow you to use Funkbox to send beats to other applications like um, Modrums, uh, Electribe, and Music Studio. So we'll cover that and more, and let's just get started. So from the interface screen, you can see we got the mixer right here in the middle, the pads up here on the right. We can set the tempo down here at the bottom. And right here in the middle is our heart and soul. It's where all the uh, beatboxes are. And we can just start it by clicking this button here. You can switch patterns by clicking these buttons down here at the bottom. Changing the patterns can sometimes cause the beatbox to change but we can lock down the box by toggling the switch here. Click the edit pattern button to access a sequencer. Here you can tap on the matrix wherever you want a beat to occur. Click the edit box button to change the loaded presets. They've got a lot of different options for uh, loading up your box. You can choose some of the presets for the box, or you can even go in and edit specific pads and find a specific bass or snare drum that will give your kid a, uh, a unique sound. Click the Edit Settings button to access the connection options. To enable the virtual ports, we're going to want to set the uh, clock sync to internal and go ahead and set the MIDI to all and the transmit to clock and notes. And the destination is uh, you want to set it to network so all the different apps can pick up on the uh, communications coming from Funkbox. We can now close Funkbox and it'll continue playing in the background. And we can open up Electribe and you'll see that. The funk box beat continues to play through. We can even uh, twiddle the knobs without impacting the beat. We can also do the same thing with mode drum where we can change the, uh, the settings and continue playing the funk box beat through it. In Music Studio we need to change some of the MIDI settings and we can do that from the settings menu and accessing MIDI options and I like to set the tracks to all and then load up a drum patch on uh, like a track one here to allow Funkbox to play through. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends and check out my blog. See you next time.